Hello again. I'm going to bake some brownies <laughs> because the oven's on and nothing else to do. So uh, this is a half batch of the ones that I normally make. I normally do a big um, like roasting tin size amount um, and this is a Nigella Lawson recipe. Um, love a bit of Nigella. So I'm going to show you what we've got. So we've got 200 grams of plain chocolate. This is just the Tesco's Molly's range, 30 pence a bar. So two bars. I've got uh, 188 grams of chopped butter. You can use marge, but you're better off using butter for a brownie, in my opinion. Um, I have got how much sugar? Mm. Bear with me. I didn't actually write this bit down on my separate piece of paper. La 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 la. La 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 la. 250 grams of caster sugar. Okay. I've got three large whole range eggs. I have got, how much flour have I got? 113 grams of plain flour. I'm going to be using vanilla extract, uh, one and a half teaspoons. I'm going to be using half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to be putting some cherries in as well. So without further ado, I'm going to melt my butter and chocolate together. My butter is room temperature now, um, just so it melts quicker, basically. So I'm just going to let that... melt and come coat the bottom a little bit in with chocolate just gonna turn that down you can do this in the microwave of course but it just it only takes a minute or so in the pan you don't want to burn your chocolate so do it nice and carefully nice and gently remember chocolate melts at body temperature which you might know from if you've ever kept a chocolate for well sat on a chocolate bar or or stashed one in your pocket forgotten about it and then gone oh where's that and then you've realized that you've melted your snickers or whatever So it only takes a minute or two to melt down. We're not overheating it or anything. We're literally just melting those two together just to combine them. <laughs> I guess if I'd have uh, chopped the chocolate into smaller pieces rather than just breaking it up into the the chunks into the, the squares, the scored squares, it would all have melted by now, but I didn't. Give it a quick blast just to heat it a little bit quicker because you may have gathered I'm impatient. Right, turn that heat off. There's still a few lumps in it, however, the residual heat is going to melt the rest of that move that away from where the heat source was so into my large bowl oh it's moved a little bit let me just angle that down ever so slightly there we go into my large bowl I'm putting my eggs if you've kept your eggs at uh, in the fridge there because you need them room temperature put them in a jug of warm water for about three minutes and you'll get your uh, your nice room temp. So you want to add your sugar. 
and give that a good mix together. By all means, if you have an electric hand mixer, use that, but you don't really need to. Just a balloon whisk will do it for you. And we want them kind of foamy ish. table salt, half a teaspoon and then rather than sieving it in a sieve, I just use a whisk, give it a little stir around, it breaks up any residual lumps that may be there and aerates it slightly. So into our egg and sugar mix, I'm going to add my vanilla. So I want one and a half teaspoons. So this is a half teaspoon measure. So obviously three of these. melted together and it's also cooled slightly nice and glossy pour your chocolate straight in So yes, every year for my son's birthday for at least the last 10 years, um, he's now 25, I have to do him a brownie mountain for his birthday. So that's a nice change. Ooh, lovely. I like the word unctuous for this. It's a very unctuous mix now. Mm -mm -mm. So then I'm just going to make a well in the middle of the flour. Again, wet to dry. all the mixture out you don't want to waste any of this because it's too good another reason why I'm doing a brownie is because I've already got a pan lined wherever it's gone there it is um from earlier so so we're just going to combine these together just give it a nice Fold it through. And the oven is still on at 180, gas mark 4. And I just always have a check of the base, make sure I've got all the flour lifted up. And I'm not actually whisking it, I'm just giving it a 
gonna stir with my whisk. brownie pan so again it's greased and lined whole glassy cherries and I like to pop them in quite evenly into the areas where I'm going to cut the brownies and I'm not pushing them down I'm just letting them fall themselves this does make a very very rich brownie and we're going to get 16 squares out of this so obviously we're having 16 cherries moved over a little bit too far get him back there we go so hopefully you can see that I think you probably can and then that is going in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes obviously it's brownie so it's not gonna um rise i mean it's plain flour so you're not going to have that rise the raisin agent is the egg um and you want the top to go like a speckly kind of like paper um but so it looks a little bit speckly that's when it's cooked you might have a little slight wobble in the center that's fine you just leave it and it carries on cooking gently itself whilst it cools down so this is going straight in the oven slightly higher than center for like I say 20 to 25 minutes I'm just going to give it straight on 25 and I'll be back shortly bye bye hello again so we're beeping it smells divine oh yeah so that to me looks about perfect so can you see it's gone kind of papery on the top that's exactly what you're looking for it's starting to crack at the edges as well. So that is perfect. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm just going to let that sit there and cool down. Um, once it's cool, well, cool, once it's cooled completely, um, I'm going to make a ganache and I'm going to pour a ganache on the top of it um, because we like our brownies with chocolate ganache on. This is never why I'm never going to be a skinny girl. Mm. So there you go. Two for one day. Blessed. You're blessed. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, check out my page. I'm on YouTube now as well, by the way. Subscribe. Finish delights. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.